Hello, my name is Shane. Welcome to tutorial number two for Make My Groups. This one's going to show you how to create and manage lists and how to enter names through three different methods. So first up, we're going to go and select New Class. When that pops up, it gives a suggestion, Class 1. You want to put something a little more creative, feel free. Once you've done that, you've got these three options here. I'm showing you the first option, which is to type the names. So you see I'm just going ahead, I'm just typing I started in the cell immediately underneath my class and I'm just making up names, typing them in. You might notice that there's a, an outline around each of these cells and the outline for each cell only kicks in when you've completed a name in the, the cell immediately above. You also notice at any stage I can make the groups. I get different random groups every time I click it. That's kind of fun. So when I've made my new class, given it another very creative title, I can choose number two this time, which is to paste a single column. Now you'll notice pretty quickly if you try and click somewhere, you won't be able to click. So I've got a few things open here. I'm going to go to one of them. This one is um, just got a list, class list. So I can copy that class list, just the first names. I've copied it, I go back. Instead of pasting by clicking and then going to paste, I tap that button there and it pastes it in for me. Now if I want to make try the third option, here I go. Number three, paste two columns. You can see there that it's actually given me a couple of new um, things to see on my screen. Again, can't click anything. This time I'm going to go and I'm going to copy both of those columns, first and last names. And then again, I tap the button, puts it in for me. It just asks whether they're in the right order, whether it's correct, first names in the right place and last names in the right place. And I can switch it. Once I've got them where I like them, combine names, and there they are. I can make groups like that. I'm just going to show you the alternative. So here, if I did happen to have the last name before the first name, I can copy all these and go back and I can paste it. And this time when it comes up, switch them over and they put that puts them in the right place. Combine, there they are, combine, I can make my groups. By clicking away. That's how it's done. Three options. If you want to delete one of your classes, all you have to do is press delete on your keyboard and then you say yes. So, just to show you again, if you've selected a class, press delete, then you press yes to confirm the delete. Um, just want to show you a couple of things. If you were to add a name to a class that you've already saved, so you've got more than one class, add a name to it go to a different class, come back to the class where you've added a name, you can see that it's still there. Whatever you do to a class gets saved automatically. There's no need to press save or anything like that. Um, if you were to delete some of the names from a class, if you delete them from the bottom, it's easy. Delete them from the middle like I just did, looks a bit messy. They'll actually stay there like that unless you choose otherwise. I'll show you what I mean. If we delete quite a few names, And then we hold down three keys at the same time, Control, Shift, and S. You can see what's happened there. All the gaps are gone. It also just works if you want to sort the names alphabetically. Say you type in a bunch of names, and then you want them in alphabetical order. You can use the same thing. So there's a few tips. I hope it's been helpful. Thanks for watching this tutorial from Make My Solution.